guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my march wrap up we're going to talk about all the books i read in the month of march if you guys didn't watch my video for my march tbr i actually ended up doing a tbr like jar prompt picks my tbr and i do want to be honest i think i only read one book from the four i picked because this month is crazy what can i say i feel i do still want to talk about the books i read and i will be doing another one where the T tbr jar picks my um books i think i might do two or three this month so if you want to see it what i am reading in april that'll be my next video on my channel but yeah let's go ahead and talk about the books i read in march first one was actually a reread i read it for class and this was a new edition but it was my third time reading frankenstein by mary shelley rated this five stars i think I think the first two times I had read it, it had been a four star and then it finally bumped up to a five star because this book is just, it's so amazing. I don't know. And also like the lore and story behind Mary Shelley writing this, I think it's just so, it makes the book even more interesting. And um, I've read, I read this for my adaptation class. And so we've also been reading adaptations of Frankenstein and it's just, she's a genius. This book is a work of art and a lot of people refer to it in contemporary um text or media so this was the first one i read was actually romeo and juliet this was my first time reading this i rated it five stars i really really liked it um surprising that this is the first william shakespeare i've ever read actually and i'm glad it was romeo and juliet a story i kind of knew um like i said i rated it five stars i didn't read like all of this because it's like essays and stuff but I did read the actual play and um, I did find this edition very helpful to understanding the language so if you're looking for um, something in like original text not super translated but easy to understand or easier to understand I would definitely recommend the Norton um, edition because I really liked it. Next book I finished in March was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I have had this book on like I've been currently reading it I think since January because this was a gift to my sister Gracie. This was her favorite book at least when I asked her a while ago and so I read and annotated it. I ended up reading it two stars. Um, it had initially been five stars and I just this is I thought it was like a beautiful story. Um, my 2024 review was okay I read this to give to my sister for her birthday and honestly it's a solid two and a half stars based on my definition of star ratings is it good no did it keep me entertained yes i would i probably would not recommend that so that's kind of where that rating two and a half stars came from it's like fine i don't think colleen hoover is a great person um but her story is entertaining and based off of my star rating it would fall in the two and a half star one book that i did read um that was based off of my tbr jar prompts was never by jessa hastings this prompt was um based off of a classic so um yeah this book is like abnormally huge like it's it's really crazy but anyways I like Jessa Hastings. I'm in the middle of the Magnolia Park series, and so when I saw this and I had a Barnes & Noble gift card, I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna get this. And I ended up reading it a two and a half, um, and that was because a lot of the things I did not like, but there were some things that kept me entertained. I mean, I obviously, I was like fine. I didn't really like any of the characters. Like, usually you have to relate to the main character in some capacity. To like be engaged at least in my reading experience and i thought daphne was okay but i didn't really like i didn't relate to her at all and it made it hard for me to understand any of the choices she was making and it made me easier to just dislike her <laughs> a little bit which is not good but that is kind of like how i was feeling um but yeah two and a half stars whatever but frank kistein and this is obviously a little adaption of Frankenstein, like I said, um, student adaptations. And I ended up rating this four stars. I thought the characters were super interesting. I thought that how it was related to Frankenstein and Mary Shelley was really like intriguing to me and it was done in a new way, at least from my reading experience and knowledge. Um, and I thought it was really cool because you get a point of view from Mary Shelley, which 
I think that was definitely my favorite part <laughs> of the book and I don't know what that says about me but yeah also this cover is stunning and I yeah I really liked it I would definitely recommend it's very interesting I read it I listened to it while I was reading it and I really liked that experience um but yeah there you go the last one being the book of Marjorie Kemp I rated this three stars I read this for my English 730 class which is a medieval text class obviously if you can't tell um I actually really enjoyed this in the sense of like a school text I like I would never just read this for fun personally um but Marjorie Kemp is such an interesting character like she's genuinely so interesting and this book is basically chronicling her experience after her first child up until who knows how 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 late into her life it went because we don't really know how old she was um yeah it says circa 1436 to 1438 was when it was like scribed or like written um but yeah it it just talks about her life with like like I said from her the first birth of her child until who knows when and it's definitely centered in like religious studies or like it's her experience with religion I would definitely say that is like this is a religious text um yeah I'm actually writing my final paper on this book because it's so interesting so if that tells you anything if you're interested in medieval read it and then the last book I read I actually finished this last night this ha I've been reading this since the beginning of March and I was like last night I was like I need to finish this tonight and so I did I did I, I like barely finished it before 12 but I did finish it and that was wildfire by Hannah Grace this is the second book in her Maple Hills series I did read Icebreaker last year and I don't know if anyone remembers me reviewing it I rated it a one star and if I could have rated it lower I could have and I think my review on Goodreads was like don't like I'm never gonna talk about this book or like don't even ask me about this book because I did not like it. I, I do kind of feel bad because I want to give it a second chance because I, I don't really remember why I had such a negative feeling towards it. I just didn't think it was good. And so going into this, I was like, oh, I was kind of worried, but I had seen better reviews for it and it was on Libby. It was accessible to me. And so I did read it. I read it at three stars, which is not a bad rating at all. And yeah it was pretty good i did like the camp setting i thought russ and aurora rory the two main characters were really cute there was just a lot of cringy things i don't think the writing is like the most fantastic and i also i will say i haven't necessarily been in like a romance mood recently so that could definitely be why my feelings are skewed but yeah I think those are all the books no I know those are all the books I read in March I think that's all I have to say about them so yeah it was not an awful reading month let's see how many books I read I read seven books which isn't my best but isn't the worst and um hopefully in April we can do a little bit better but yeah these were all the books I read and yeah let me know what you guys read in March if you want and I will talk to you guys in my April TBR peace and love bye guys